passes. Okay. Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody, and come back. This is again, I am a singer, eternal voice, Sotero. I need to do this again because previously I did my live streaming and I was muted. Okay, now I come back. I'm drinking green tea. Okay, for good digestion process. <laughs> really. And to have also a good sleep later. I have just to drink this to give focus and concentrate more to the topics that I'll be able to discuss this moment, which are the cholesterol, the fatty acids, and the triglycerides. Oh. This is also one drink important for our disease defense mechanism of our immune system. This is green tea. So there are helpful benefits for this also. Okay. But this is not our topic. <laughs> but. Okay. Oh my gosh. So the first are fatty acids, okay? Fatty acids composed of three types, the saturated fatty acid, the unsaturated fatty acid, and the trans fatty acids, okay? So both the unsaturated fatty acids and trans fatty acids having a double bounce, okay? So unsaturated fatty acids composed of monounsaturated fatty acids and polyunsaturated fatty acids. Okay, we give examples of these fatty acids. So the first type will be the saturated fatty acid. Examples are you must eat, and this is a saturated fatty acid is not uh, very helpful to our body if we will um, intake uh, above the level, okay? Like about the level of 150 milligrams per deciliter. So examples for this food to eat are um, animal meat. Could either be any types of meat, the pork, the beef, the lamb, okay, the chicken, okay. It could be a uh, processed meat also, the red meat, the hot dog, the sausage, the bacon, okay? These are saturated fats. Another example also are dairy products. It could be a milk, a full fat milk, and then dairy products, butter, cheese, uh, cake, okay? And then palm oil and coconut oil. So that's why if you're using coconut oil now, better change that with an oil that is unsaturated fatty acids or fatty oils that is uh, olive oil or either canola oil or either sunflower oil or either corn oil, much better because those are unsaturated fatty acids, okay? Like that. Oh my God. Stearic acid is an example of saturated fatty acid. So the formula for this is 18 carbons of 18 atoms of carbons. Okay. And then hydrogen is 36 atoms and two atoms of oxygen. Okay. All right. Oh my God. To make it understandable to everybody in this room.
Okay, guys. This is the example of a stearic acid, which is a saturated fatty acid. Okay, 18 atoms of carbon, 36 atoms of hydrogen, and 2 atoms of oxygen. Okay, like this. So this is purely single band, like that, or what we call as octadecanoic acid, the other name for this. Okay, so the application of stearic acid, okay, is for the manufacture of soap, detergent, and also what we call the shaving powder or shaving liquid like this, okay? And then for, what else for? Batter, B-U-T-T-E-R. My God, stearic acid also found in batter, but the application found in shampoo, detergent, okay, like in shaving liquids or, you know, shaving emulsions. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, substance that is partly solid, partly liquid, what you, that's emulsion, right? I forgot. <laughs> Like that. An example for this also, if you have the oil from a pork uh, oil and then you put it in the refrigerator and then it will become frozen or freeze, the solid is very white, right? So that is the presence of steric acid because of the saturated fat, okay? That is from the oil of pork, as I said earlier, animal fat, okay? So that is saturated fatty acid, and stearic acid is an example to that. So that white, okay, solid substance during, uh, if you refrigerate that, refrigerate that oil of the pork, or oil of the baboy, <laughs> oil of the pig, <laughs> my gosh, that is stearic acid, okay? Okay. Now, uh, I'll give you the formula for this. Uh, this is the formula already, right? Okay, but this sat saturated fatty acid have the carboxyl group at the end. Okay, I will show you. Carboxyl, this is R. Okay, guys. This is the carboxyl group, R-C-O-O-H. This is carboxyl acid. R is the, you know, the component that could be a long chain of carbon atoms, such as like this. And this will be, this one will be added to here. So this is alkyl, okay? This must be replaced with this, okay, formula. And I will show you, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16 okay it's gonna be like this Wait for a while, huh? Sorry. I draw the structural, organic structural formula of stearic acid or the saturated fatty acid. General is saturated fatty acid. Specific or example is stearic acid. Okay. Like this. Very lengthy carbon chain atoms, carbon hydrogen chain atoms. Okay.
we will just use this also in the unsaturated uh, to save time, to save paper also, like this. Wait for a while. So I have to draw the structural formula for this saturated fatty acid. is the structural formula of very lengthy carbon hydrogen carbon and hydrogen chain atoms right so actually this last part it's still straight but i make it this downward because there's no other space anymore but this is only a representation okay actually there's three carbons down oh no two carbons downside will be extended more there okay but there's no space enough as so I put that down here. Okay. And here is this one is the CEO, C O O H. C O O H. So this is the carboxyl group on the corner or the carboxylic acid. So this represents this one, the C O H. Again, C O H represents this one, the corner. And this entire lengthy carbon chain atoms compound is representing this R. So this is now the fatty acid, okay? This one, plus this one, COH, this one here, okay? Like that, stearic acid. Or octadecanoic acid. This one, stearic acid or octadecanoic acid. Octa means eight, deca means 10, 18. So there are 18 carbon atoms. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay, like this is the carboxyl group, COH, and the R is this one, the entire, like this attached so if we sum that one to make it a general formula carbon 18 h36 and oxygen the same as counting the hydrogen is 36 oxygen is 2 oxygen to 1 2 carbon 18 and hydrogen is how many 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 22 3 4 5 6 and 7 18 and 31 36 like this okay assuming okay not really assuming but if you do it by yourself there are 36 atoms of hydrogen okay like that okay. so this is saturated fatty acids this one saturated fatty acids okay so belongs to the saturated fatty acids the foods are i mentioned a while ago we should not eat this in excess because if it, it will go above 150 milligrams per deciliters it's bad for our health so these are the processed foods the, the animal meat okay any kinds of animal meat dairy products full fat milk dairy products okay butter like that cake like that palm oil and coconut oil okay those are 
foods and oils belong to the saturated fatty acids. You must control because saturated fatty acids are not good for our, our health if above 150 milligrams per deciliter or something like that. Okay, now we go to the second type, unsaturated fatty acids. Okay. Still 18 carbons, okay, atoms. Unsaturated. Fatty acids. Like this. Unsaturated fatty acids composed of monounsaturated fatty acids and polyunsaturated fatty acids. So mono. fatty acids and poly this one unsaturated fatty acid composed of mono unsaturated fatty acids and Poly unsaturated fatty acids. Okay, so the mono unsaturated fatty acids example is the oleic acid. Example on the right side, right beside the mono unsaturated fatty acid. Example of poly unsaturated fatty acids are linoleic acid linoleic acid like that so these are examples okay so this unsaturated fatty acids these are good for the health okay this oleic acid is very important for the heart condition, okay? And then it will help to reduce or eliminate the excess cholesterol or specifically the bad cholesterol known as low density lipoprotein in our bloodstream, okay? So what are the foods that have oleic acid so that our heart condition will be okay good and then it will help to remove the bad cholesterol so for mono i'll just put here one here put here one the kind of food under mono acidic fatty acids right so that we can receive all the acid okay one this percent one also okay we have avocado Okay, nuts, peanuts, hazelnuts, almonds, pumpkin seeds, okay, flax seeds. Okay, olive oil, canola oil, like this, and others. Okay, like this. These are the foods or the oils that contains oleic acid. This is number one, and this is number one example oleic acid. So we can obtain that oleic acid through the intake of these foods. This is good for the health, okay? And number two, linoleic acid. Food 
as soybeans okay corn oil vegetable oil such as um sunflower oil or some flower oil like this then uh eggs also and then fish seafoods okay like this so these are the foods under two you can obtain lonic acid or just that is very good for our health this one okay soybeans corn oil okay like that vegetable oils and flower oil like this like this okay this and eggs okay here also okay now this eggs I oh, know fish and seafoods is rich in omega-3 fatty acids. So this fish and seafoods are example of the polyunsaturated fatty acids, good for the health, fish and seafoods. So this contains omega-3 fatty acids. That's why um sardines are good for the health because it contains omega-3 fatty acids okay specifically the salmon and the mackerel okay that's under polyunsaturated fatty acids okay and now we go to the formula for this so i'll specify the foods right so it's easy for you to track Okay. The oleic acid formula will be like this. So 18 atoms of carbon, 34 atoms of hydrogen, and 2 atoms of oxygen. So this is the oleic acid general formula. 18 atoms of carbon, 34 atoms of hydrogen, and 2 atoms of oxygen. And if you try to break that one in a form of organic structural formula so there is a uh, thing no double band okay in the number nine carbon atoms okay, i forgot to tell you also that these unsaturated you know, these saturated fatty acids as you can see all are single band there's no double band right okay in the sharing of electrons between the hydrogen and the carbon oxygen also in the corner there's no double band, all are single band. Okay, so meaning to say, unsaturated, mono unsaturated and polyunsaturated have double bands. So the oleic acid will again put 18 carbons, right? Like this. Okay, 18, one. Two, three. We can go here somewhere. The numbering also no problem. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Okay. I will put here H H H H like this. H. The same thing, okay. the only difference is we, we put double bond in the number nine carbon atom. Okay, H, 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 H. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So here is the number nine, huh? I was, uh, sorry, I'll illustrate the number nine. So this will be the start of inserting the double band. Okay, H, 
H H so H also starting the double band so one like this so this will be removed already no more H okay and then H H H H H right you could you could just imagine right this are in our body inside okay you cannot just see but the configuration of the structural formula is occurring inside your body this carbon atoms 18 okay 18 atoms of carbon 34 atoms of hydrogen and two atoms of oxygen is inside your system okay because we eat this kind of foods i mentioned earlier right okay H, 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 imagine, H, this is purely imagination because we cannot see directly this in our, inside our body, but only the devices, the high technology can detect this through uh, experimentation in the laboratory, okay? H, H, H. this is oxygen and OH. O and this OH. So this is here the uh, uh, carboxylic acid. This it, it is called oleic acid because of this carboxylic acid. Without this, it will remain as unsaturated fats. Okay. This one, this is the oleic acid general formula, 18 atoms of carbon, 34 atoms of hydrogen, and two atoms of oxygen. So there is the, in the corner, we have the carboxylic group or the carboxylic acid. Actually, if you put, if you don't put this carboxylic acid, this unsaturated fatty acids will not be called as acid. It is unsaturated fat. But since you add this carboxylic acid in the corner, it now become unsaturated fatty acid or oleic acid okay there's a, a corner attachment in the corner so it is the in the number nine carbon you have to count from here you have to count from here huh okay one two three four five six seven eight nine so nine so there's a double band in the nine in the mono unsaturated fatty acids in number nine carbon atoms, you put the double band, okay, like that. Since it is only one double bond that is mono unsaturated fatty acids. So specifically, oleic acid is an example of mono unsaturated fatty acid, or what we call it as nine cis octadiconic acid. <laughs> to watch octadecanoic acid this one this is basing the structural formula so since the double line is in number nine so put nine c is the orientation is gonna be the like this like orientation is like this for c's right this one first the c's this one this represents the C's, this orientation here. C's because it is parallel with each other, the H. Parallel, not opposite. If it is, the H is opposite downside and upside, this becomes trans, but this is beside with each other. So this is C's, okay? So 9C's octadiconic acid, okay? Is an example of mono unsaturated fatty acid, which is specifically the oleic acid. Okay, this is structural formula. Okay, and this is very good to our health. Okay, because this oleic acid or 9C octadiconic acid or mono unsaturated fatty acids are helping our heart always to be in good condition and helps to reduce and eliminate the cholesterol level in our bloodstream, 
Okay? Like that. So this is very important. So the foods are here, huh? To eat here. Avocado. Nuts, peanuts, hazelnuts, almonds, pumpkin seeds, flax seeds, olive oil, canola oil. Each. Okay? For the olive acid. Now we go to the last unsaturated acid. There's two types, right? The linoleic. The same thing, but the double bond. I don't have to draw again because it's very lengthy, but the double bond is in 9 and 15. Okay? Like that. Okay? 9, 12, and 15. And then 6, 9, 12. So this is this is the position of the carbon where to put the double bond. In the carbon number nine, in the carbon number 15, you will put the double bond. So meaning to say, in a polyunsaturated fatty acid, so many double bands. It should, okay, the first form of linoleic acid, which is the, the plain and the ordinary or the normal linoleic acid. Okay, sorry. Is this one? The double bond will be in the number nine carbon atoms, and also the double bond in the number fifteen carbon atoms. So just like this, okay? Okay, and then the other one in the alpha linoleic acid. I'm sorry, 1215, because this is configuration. Actually, the sending, oh no, order by three. Sorry for that, okay? Sorry, again, I have to repeat again, okay? Linoleic acid is from carbon 15 and carbon 12, something like this, okay? And then for the alpha linoleic, carbon number nine, carbon number 12, carbon number 15, and for the gamma linoleic acid, carbon number six, carbon nine, and carbon number 12. Okay. So, we need to say the linoleic acid exists in three forms the normal linoleic acid, the alpha linoleic acid, and the gamma linoleic acid. But it depends on their double bonds where to put in the particular carbons, number of carbons. These numbers are uh, indicated that you have to put the double bands there. So there are a lot of bands, double bands there. So that's polyunsaturated fatty acids. Okay. Now, this linoleic acid application is very important for the cosmetics. Okay. What are those cosmetics? Uh, beautification of our skin of our face like this so basically this is found in lotion body lotion like this moisturizer in our skin hair and nails like this okay cosmetology for beautification of individual okay so this contains linoleic acid okay blanc is an acid found in a manufacture of lotion moisturizer for cosmetics, the answer will be linoleic acid. Okay, if I, if I question you, blanc is an acid, okay, that is uh, useful to improve the heart condition, human heart condition, and try to eliminate or reduce the cholesterol, blood, bad cholesterol level in the bloodstream, and that is oleic acid. And blanc is an acid that's applicable for the manufacture of soap, detergents, like this shampoo that is stearic acid and also found in butter, B U T T E R. So that is stearic acid. Okay, this linoleic acid general formula is still carbon 18, oxygen 2. So as I said earlier, only hydrogen will vary. So this is 32. Carbon 18 H32O2, meaning to say. Two carbons only will be deducted. Starts with 36, stearic acid, only 34, 
and the linoleic 32. But the oxygen atoms and the carbon atom is just the same. Okay? Like that. And now we go to the last one is the trans fatty acids. The same thing. Okay? The same thing. The double band. Okay, can be put anywhere, but the the position or the orientation of the double band is not cis anymore. Okay, it's trans. Okay, trans meaning opposite. Okay, like this hydrogen up, hydrogen down. Okay, uh, alkyl up, alkyl down. So the positioning will now be oriented. Okay, like that. Like this, I'll show you the example, the general formula of trans. Okay, gosh, trans. So double bond carbon like this, H, H, and then alkyl. R is alkyl, huh? meaning carbon and hydrogen bonded with together. Like this, H opposite, R opposite. The orientation will be like that. Then the R, you will change with the carbon hydrogen chain atom, and the R also you will change with carbon chain carbon atom also. And this H will remain, and that will be the orientation. Okay, like that. And the double bond will stay like that. Okay. Okay. And another omega. Six fatty acids also example of linoleic aside from omega three fatty acids. So omega six fatty acids are mostly on the you know on the polyunsaturated fatty acid, which is the soybeans. This one, soybeans, corn oil, vegetables oil, sunflower like this. Omega fatty acids, but omega three fatty acids are more on the fish and the seafoods sardine salmon mackerel like that okay so there will be two omega-3 and omega-6 okay other uh laboratory uh proven that you have a good ratio between three and six so that you will be attaining a good health okay like that the trans fats okay trans this is the orientation of a trans fat You'll just follow and the orientation will take space because the R is just the carbon and hydrogen chain atoms. And then just stay like this and H will never be touched. Only the R because that will be uh, replaced by the carbon and hydrogen long chain atoms like this. Okay? The trans fat, this is trans fat orientation, huh? a trans orientation. Trans, okay, trans fat. Okay, trans fatty acids. This one. Trans fatty acids are very dangerous to the human health. Example, French fries. In the Jollibee, in the McDonald's, like this. Okay, processed foods. Or some baked foods, but not all. It depends on the ingredients also, okay? But majority, okay? And the margarine, okay? The microwave popcorn. Popcorn, okay? The burger. Hamburger, okay, hamburger, okay, like that. And some coffee creams. And pizza. But it's stated there frozen pizza. Maybe maybe the hot pizza is not uh, trans fat. I don't think so. It's really specified frozen pizza meaning it was called already right so there are seven examples of trans fat dangerous to our health that's why they said going to fast foods every day is not healthy uh, lifestyle because it contains trans fatty acids 
okay? Comparing the trans fatty acids and the saturated fatty acids, it's more okay to choose saturated fatty acids comparing the two, but both two are not good to the health if we intake that in excess more than 150 milligrams per deciliters. So how can we do this? By obtaining now the triglycerides, okay? So the medical technologist, if you go to the doctor, especially during your physical examination, would it be every one year or every two years? Or it depends on you. If you have a personal doctor, then they will uh, get the blood sample here. And that blood sample put in the test tube because they will try to measure the triglycerides level of an individual, including also the cholesterol. So this one I discussed all unsaturated fatty acids, saturated fatty acids, okay, like this, and the trans fats will be the summation or the total as glycerides, triglycerides, okay, but plus glycerol pasha because we are just discussing the fatty acids here, the three fatty acids, okay? The saturated fatty acids, unsaturated fatty acids, and the trans fatty acids. Okay, mono unsaturated and poly unsaturated is just an example of unsaturated fatty acids. So this is the three fatty acids, the components of the triglycerides, okay? And these triglycerides must not be above 150 milligrams per deciliter, okay? So plus glycerol. And the glycerol formula is this. So meaning to say the triglycerides, that includes glycerol, not only the fatty acids, the three fatty acids plus one glycerol. So glycerol can be found in glycerin food, fortified foods with glycerin, okay? Meaning sugar alcohol, okay? If you drink too much, alcohol, it increases your cholesterol level and triglycerides level, okay? That's why uh, most of the people who drink too much, their stomach are very big and their waistline is very big because that has a body fats, which are the triglycerides mainly. Since triglycerides and cholesterol are directly related with each other, if they're is an accumulation of triglyceride, there is also an accumulation of cholesterol. It's impossible. The two are working together. It's determined in the blood sample during the test. Okay, like that. But the cholesterol referred there is the bad cholesterol, which is the low density lipoprotein. Okay, it should not be above 100 milligrams per deciliter. Okay? Like that. Both of them are heavy, high molecular weight, heavier than water. So it is understood that these two are insoluble with water. Okay, so meaning to say it will not go with water to expel as a waste during our metabolic cycle. Okay, especially if you burn fats, if you burn calories. So this will separate something like that because insoluble, okay, to water or not water soluble, something like this, okay high molecular weight, okay, like that. So, so triglycerides derived from triglycerides. I'll just put TG, right, to make it simpler. TG is equals to glycerol, one component of glycerol, and three components of fatty acids, as I discussed earlier, right? Fatty acids, okay? This one, triglycerides is equals to glycerol plus fatty acids. Three components of fatty acids, this is a uh, coefficient, and one. Okay. One component of glycerol and three components of fatty acids, discussed already, the three types of fatty acids. And then the glycerol formula is, he, is this. Okay, carbon three, H5, hydroxides, Three. So this is the glycerol now. C3H5OH3. So there are three carbons and you have to put the, the structural formula again, the same as the fatty acids. Now I'll show you like this. Three carbon, like this. These are all single band. Okay. 
etch, 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 like this, and etch. Okay. O etch, O etch, and O etch. These, these are the structural formula. C, one, two, three carbon, three OH, negative, one, two, three, and five hydrogen. So this is a general formula for the glycerol. So meaning to say that triglycerides are components of glycerol and fatty acids. Okay, now if you drink alcohol, okay, not really alcohol that, uh, ethanol like this, the glycerin or the alcohol sugar, okay, sugar alcohol, I mean, so it will increase your triglycerides level. If you are, uh, loves to drink wine, whiskey, beer, like that, okay? So the more you drink, the more your cholesterol, cholesterol level rises and your triglycerides rises. So means you are adaptive or you have the risk of coronary heart disease, coronary heart disease or the atherosclerosis or the cardiovascular disease is a lot, right? And the stroke, heart attack, kidney failure, and type 2 diabetes, okay? So how can you solve that one? The main solutions for that are to select the healthier food. Okay, your lifestyle in choosing the food, what to eat. So in terms of fats or body fats, choose the, what I discussed earlier, the unsaturated fatty acids. Okay, choose that one. If you cook your food, choose the canola oil, olive oil, corn oil, sunflower oil, not the coconut oil and the palm oil because those are not unsaturated fatty, uh, fatty oils. Okay, like that. So at least it can help also, okay? Then if you drink alcohol, okay, wine, whiskey, and beer, you have to conduct exercise also. It could be work out in the gym or physical activities like this, or aerobics, yoga, walking, regular walking, regular jogging, something like that. If you don't do that, when you reach the age of 60 years old, or say 55 years old, 60 years old, 65 years old, 70 years old, problem, it will really appear as a chronic disease already. Okay, just what happened to my father, the late, my father who died also, because he drink a lot and then it causes him uh, cirrhosis, cancer of the liver, okay? Because, of course, liver will de detoxify toxins, okay? chemical toxins, then if your liver will not function properly, all toxins, including this, we discussed, this triglycerides, glycerol, uh, sugar, alcohol, like this, it will not be detoxified, okay? So the liver has two more, something like that, okay? So he died, something like that. That's why in our family, I am the one only who will never drink alcoholic beverages of all. Okay. I'm the youngest of the four, but only me doesn't drink alcoholic beverages, okay? Zero alcohol in my system. I can only gain alcohol through internal chemical reaction because we have also internal chemical reaction to produce alcohol in our body through normal or natural reaction, not the supplement alcohol or the supplied alcohol. This... Uh, beer, wine, whiskey is the supplied alcohol you take in your body. But we have also natural chemical reaction that produces alcohol in our body, inside the body. Because if we don't have an alcohol content in our body, we are also weak. It's, we need also alcohol. But the alcohol in my system is enough okay, to sustain me, to keep me alive, even though I will never drink. A lot never drink, right? Why we are surviving? Because our body have also alcohol, okay? Natural alcohol level, not the artificial or ethanol like this, the ethyl alcohol, the beer, something like that, or the sugar alcohol, the glycerin, whatever. It's not like that, okay? So if we have alcohol already in our system, exists naturally due to uh, 
natural chemical reaction inside our body plus the alcohol you intake so the more you have alcohol in your body already okay so the more it will produce cholesterol and triglycerides okay what will happen now okay your arteries will be thick or thickened or hardened okay now since your arteries will receive the blood circulation now the circulation is very poor the there will be a restriction of blood flow circulation, then the oxygen that will be carried by the blood and the nutrients that will be carried by the blood will not go to your liver, will not go to your brain, will not go to your heart or your kidney. So that's why we will develop stroke, develop heart attack, develop coronary diseases. So actually, if you just to study the, what do you call this one in a, uh, CDC controls of disease prevention, something like that. Or what do you call this one? It's a study of the disease. I forgot the term, terminology. Epidemiology. So if you study epidemiology, that is a branch of medical science that deals with the study of diseases, okay, like that, how to control it, or different pathogens, okay, Co uh, food that has a pathogen. Okay. Cancer causing food, something like that. That is epidemiology. Okay, epidemiology. If you consider that one, then you will never get chronic diseases after five years, after 10 years, after 15 years. It's matter, it matters a lot also for our lifestyle, aside from the genes, because we have also genetic factor, right? Hereditary traits. For example, our you know, our family trees having uh, diseases like diabetes. Also, the uh, new generation will have diabetes under our family. That's also part of the genetic factor. But 80 to 90 percent would be on the lifestyle, okay, based on the food and drinks or the fluid we intake. It's only a small portion with the genetic factor and the age because there are also younger that you know, suffer coronary heart diseases, cardiovascular disease. It's not only 60 years old, 55 years old, 70 years old. It can be to anybody. If you are eating in excess the fatty foods, saturated fatty acids and the trans fats, which are found mostly in the processed foods, junk foods, soft drinks like that, and alcoholic beverages, okay? <laughs> like that. So we should practice uh, intake through moderation okay like that not in excess not frequently something like that okay me i can also drink cola but once a month like that i can also eat junk foods but once a month okay like that so you should control the intake okay like that especially for the junk foods uh kidney failure it will develop stones in your gallbladder first the inflammation will be the UTI, urinary tract infection, and then after kidney failure due to the stones developed, okay? The salts, any kind of salts, okay? Potassium, magnesium, calcium, oxalate, like this, okay? Phosphorus, sulfates, phosphates, especially soft drinks have phosphoric acid, okay? They, they will take phosphoric acid, it will become phosphates and become solid when you urine and some will will penetrate to your gallbladder it should also contribute for a stone okay drinking too much of uh, cola soft drinks eating too much junk foods like this a lot of salts you can look in a uh, periodic table okay sodium calcium magnesium potassium like this okay phosphate sulfates okay oxalates okay and a lot more <laughs> and also the uric acid okay of course because that is a gallbladder right you have a uric uric acid or urea okay oh my gosh okay so that would be for the fatty acids cholesterol and triglycerides now we touch a little bit for cholesterol before we end this live streaming okay for the cholesterol okay the formula will be a lot of carbon atoms, 24 atoms of carbon, 
46 atoms of hydrogen, and there is only one atom of oxygen. Wow! <laughs> it's impossible. Why only one? Because of the configuration of the structural formula. If you try to put that in a piece of paper, then the oxygen will only contain one. Okay, something like that. It will be adjusted there. I mean, you write the structural formula as so what I did a while ago, right? If you put so many carbon, I cannot make it now in the piece of paper. I, had, I need to have a very uh, wide paper to put the 24 carbon. One, two, three, four, five, six, and it will take a long time. Okay? Let's focus now on the general formula. To work 24 atoms of carbon, 46 atoms of hydrogen, and one atom of oxygen is the formula of cholesterol. C24H46O. So it's very heavy. Okay? Heavy. So it will not go directly as a waste. Okay, that's why we need to have exercise to remove this completely. Okay, this cholesterol, the bad cholesterol, I mean, huh? not the positive cholesterol. Because two types of cholesterol, we have the HDL and the LDL. So the doctor are referring to the LDL, low density lipoprotein. So why there is protein? Because the protein will bind to this cholesterol inside our body. So it's called lipoprotein. So the protein will bind the fat known as the lipid. You know lipid? Lipid is an example of a fat. So lipid or lipo is just the same. So protein. Protein plus lipid or li lipo is equals to lipoprotein. So that's why it's called low-density lipoprotein and high-density lipoprotein meaning it's basing on the lipid with the interaction of the protein. If there's no protein, there will be no binding moment inside our body, then the cholesterol will not be existing, right? So since cholesterol is existing in two types, the bad cholesterol LDL and the positive cholesterol HDL, really, so protein is very helpful also in our body. Okay, see, if you have more also protein, it will trigger also more cholesterol, right? Because it will react to the lipid or the lipo. So, you know, how, you know, how wonderful <laughs> the Lord really is. Okay, so if you have so much protein also, then it will combine with the lipid and then cholesterol will be there. So you also eat in moderation protein, right? So it will bind to the lipid or the fat known as lipo. That's why we have operation liposuction, meaning to remove the lipid or the fats from our body, uh, surgical operation. That's what it means, okay? Like that. So for the low-density lipoprotein, it should be not above 100 milligrams per deciliter. So this is the bad cholesterol. So our computation will be, wait for a while. Gosh. Wait for, oh my God. Okay. LDL is equals to the total cholesterol minus HDL, high density lipoprotein, minus triglycerides. When you do your physical examination in a doctor, you can see that in your medical results. Then you, you will do the addition only and the subtraction class. Okay? You can determine now your LDL. Okay? So, in normal understanding, if we speak about cholesterol level is high, that would mean LDL. Okay, technically, okay, because we need HDL to be higher also, the good cholesterol, very essential for the production of sex hormones and the stress hormones. See how wonderful the cholesterol is, okay? And then the partner of this other cholesterol is the LDL, the bad cholesterol, okay, is bad. Meaning to say, this high uh, positive cholesterol or good cholesterol will not also exist if there is no bad cholesterol. Because there will be no neutralization reaction between the two as a total cholesterol in our body. It is impossible that there's no LDL. It should have. It, in fact, it's more than always with the HDL. Okay? Like that. That's why a lot of people, obesity, like this, too, too fat, because the LDL are too much high. Okay? Like that. And time will come. It cannot be removed. Okay, it can't be removed. Time will come. That's too much. Will be deposited in the arteries. 
like this and too much will be deposited in the inner layer of the blood which is called the endothelmia okay and then it will deposit there and then the endothelmia cannot function properly and our blood vessels will be damaged and it will develop a blood clot so the blood cannot transport out the oxygen and the nutrients into the different important organs of our body there so many diseases will come in okay like that so we should try to understand the epidemiology with respect to the physiology in our body okay of course we know also the anatomy of our body but the physiology is more on the mechanics of the different parts of our organs the way they behave inside the way how they function inside uh coordination with each other like that okay because fats also help produce hormones the same as function with cholesterol see so fatty acids and cholesterol have similar or basically the same function is the production for the hormones okay which is a vital role also in the function of maintaining our blood pressure our immune system see <laughs> so meaning to say we should always uh take note the level of this cholesterol okay bad cholesterol ldl must less than 100 milligrams per deciliters triglycerides must be less than 150 milligrams per deciliters okay but hdl must be above 60 milligrams per deciliters only for the hdl this is a good cholesterol below that also it's a problem we need hdl also for good health okay but it should be above 60 but normally it should be above really only this ld it will become a problem okay like that from the word itself low density okay it's very low okay so meaning to say the production is very high okay because this high density will uh you know behave slow compared to the low density okay density is close to mass over volume if you can remember the formula so if high density okay meaning higher mass in the formula in chemistry or in physics density is equals to mass over volume if we speak high density lipoprotein so density is directly proportional to the mass okay if the density will become high the mass also will become higher so if the hdl is very high the mass is very high so meaning to say they cannot manufacture easily and move easily because too much weight Okay, compared to the low density, they can manufacture easily because they are very uh, lesser in weight. Okay, the more they can move with each other freely like that to manufacture another lipoprotein, something like that. So the low density is really bad. Okay, so meaning to say there's a greater area for them to propagate and generate with each other. Okay, like that. So if there is a greater area it's a big area so meaning to say like that so the pressure is very low <laughs> again we need to to compute that one by one my gosh okay like that so it's enough for the triglycerides okay we understand already and then for the cholesterol we understood a bit already but take note this cholesterol also is responsible for the production of steroid hormones okay and the uh, bile acids and also helpful also for our vitamin d production oh my god it's very important also right okay and then and the most main function of this cholesterol which is high density lipoprotein is a component structure of our cell membrane Okay, remember, we have tissues inside our body, and that tissue is composed of cells, and the cells has its own membrane. And if this membrane is very thin, P-H-I-N, it's not flowing, okay, like that, then problem, it will break easily. And the recept cell receptor, okay, there's a receptor meaning receive, or cell receptor, the hormones will go to the cell receptor. Okay, and then it signals the brain will send a message. For example, uh, the cholesterol, you have cholesterol, good cholesterol will go to the bloodstream, right? 
travel a certain distance going to the main organ, for example. For example, on the liver, okay? The liver has its own tissues and cells, and then there's a cell receptor. He will be the one to accept the hormone, okay? After accepting, we bind together, and it, it signals the brain, okay? The brain will signal that you need this kind of hormone if you lack this hormone. For example, you are suffering with insomnia. You cannot sleep properly. Meaning to say your level of sleeping hormone, what we, what we call as melatonin, okay? You have a less level of melatonin hormone, okay? Like that. So you need to add more melatonin hormone. So it, this will signal something like that, okay? The brain will sell, send a signal message. The hormone will signal to the brain, okay? Like that. That you are higher with this hormone and you need to do this, blah, blah, blah. Another example also is uh, dopamine hormone, okay? So, for example, you are not in good mood. For me, for example, me, I'm not, sometimes I'm not in good mood to do the live streaming and the vlogging, okay? So, meaning to say I have a lesser hormone because I'm not in good mood always, something like that. Example only. And then, but then, I am excited now and very willing to do that. That's really willing to say my dopamine level is increasing, dopamine hormone. So, like that, it, it signals to the brain, okay? So, this is also the function of the cholesterol. Oh, my gosh. Grave. Okay, that's why we need to have a fluid and a solid and what you call this one. A very good cell membrane also. Okay. If the cell membrane will be breaking or cut easily, then problem. The viruses, bacteria will go inside directly to the cell membrane, and then inflammation will come in. Inflammation of the liver, inflammation of the lungs, inflammation of the kidney. So cell membrane is very important because it is the lining of the okay, of the membrane of the cell. Okay, right? Uh, nucleus like the cytoplasm cell membrane there's a biology inside our body also that's why biochemistry okay biochemistry study and then if we try to incorporate the technology the devices through that and the application of mathematics and that, that will become now biochemical engineering okay like that so engineering always involves technology devices and the application of mathematics. But if we are just only in the principles and the reactions inside, the way they behave, the principles, the concept that still could be biochemistry. Okay? Like that. So even if without mathematics there, okay, or the application of technology. Okay? Like that. So that's gonna be so interrelated with each other. Biochemical engineering, biochemistry, like this and chemical engineering and test chemistry and medical technology and even pharmacy bs pharmacy and bs biology so these are you know interrelated with each other okay the pharmaceutical industry also being studied by chemical engineering okay you know one of our subjects okay one you know one topic for the chemical process and industries we deal with that also regarding pharmaceuticals Okay, the manufacture of wine, the pasteurization, <laughs> and the fermentation process of the beer, like that. Okay, the food industries, the textiles, mechanological industries, and a whole lot more. So, it's related to each other. Okay, like that. My God. So, this is fatty acids or triglycerides and cholesterol. Okay, like that. The liver, uh, by the way, our liver uses the cholesterol to produce bile, B I L E. Again, another function of cholesterol. Okay? So, our liver. But if there is too much cholesterol there, problem also. Okay? That's why we need only the HDL, high density lipoprotein, to produce that bile. Okay? The purpose is if there's no bile, there's no digestion of fats and there's no processing of fats also okay we need to digest the fats break down the fats and then we also process the fats that's the rule of the bile okay 
okay, produced by the liver through uh, cholesterol. Oh my gosh, grabe. Okay? So, a lot of functions pala ang cholesterol. <laughs> but this is the high-density lipoprotein, not the low-density lipoprotein. Okay? Like, very clear. And we need to take the, the ident indicator of the values that we should not go beyond like this. But, you know, it's very practical to note that always because we don't know because um, nobody will go to the uh, doctor in most cases, right? Even me, I'll never go to the doctor in uh, in a regular manner, okay? And a lot will not go, okay? To this, Just to discover if you have this, more of this, more of that, like that. It's very impossible, okay? So all you have to do is to try to be smart enough to choose the right kind of food to eat, okay? Less carbs, low carbs, less sugar, okay? Like this, less salts, and incorporate green leafy vegetables and citrus fruits in your diet. Okay. Actually, the green leafy vegetables have rich in antioxidants, the same as citrus fruits also. Okay. As I mentioned over and over again, these antioxidants are very important to protect ourselves against viruses, bacteria, germicidal, germicidal effect or germs like this, okay, to improve our disease defense mechanism, which we call the immune system. And this is also related to the white blood cells production, okay? The more white blood cells production, the more we are prevented by any kinds of diseases, okay? That's the rule of the white blood cells, right? Remember that one in our biology? That's in biology, right? White blood cells and red blood cells, right? Like that. <laughs> White blood cells are mainly leukocytes, okay? Leukocytes are composed of phagocytes and lymphocytes. Phagocytes, if, for example, if there are germs and bacteria will enter into your system, these phagocytes will catch and trap this um, bacteria and viruses, okay? It will just trap or catch, but the one who will kill that one is the lymphocytes. The lymphocytes kill this bacteria and virus, so it will not go to the main organs. It will not go to the liver, it will not go to the kidney, it will, it will not go to the brain. So that's why we need these white blood cells. So who are responsible for this, for the manufacture? It is one of the function of the kidney, okay? That's why we need to maintain our kidney as i told you okay we don't eat drink too much uh soft drinks like this okay junk foods salty foods because the kidney function is very important right for our immune system this is defense mechanism system okay like that and this antioxidants also helps this uh white blood cells this actually this coming from the bo bone marrow, marrow B O N E M A R R O W bone marrow for the for this white blood cells production. Okay, but if your white blood cells also are more than with your red blood cells, there's also a problem with the this is called leukemia. Okay, <laughs> so you should not also <laughs> taking for granted for that. So it should be balanced everything, right? Okay, something like that. Okay, my God, look at my green tea. It's not finished yet. Okay, oh my gosh. Actually, good for the immune system also. Green tea, good for digestion. And then we have also almonds again, yogurt also, okay? And citrus fruits, good for the immune system. And a plenty of vitamin C. Okay, the higher vitamin C is the orange. That is the most abundant in vitamin C or ascorbic acid. What's the problem of ascorbic acid? Okay, that is, as far as I could remember, C6H7O6 raised to the power negative one. That is the ascorbate, poly, uh, polyatomic ion, plus the hydrogen ion, it will become citric acid. Okay, so it will now become C6H8O6. That is the 
No, not the citric acid, okay? Like that. Like this, again, I will show you. Citrus fruit, fruit has citric acid. Citric acid, the formula is C6H5O7. Actually, I discussed this already uh, to refresh on me, huh? Okay, this to, to prove that, of course, that citrus fruit, for example, banana, no banana, apple, pineapple, lemon, orange, berries, like this, pumpkins, like that, uh, watermelon, something like that, goyavano, guava, all kinds of fruits, right? So it contains citric acid, naturally, huh? It's natural acid found in citrus fruit. There's no reaction, okay? Natural. Okay, this one, C, 6, H, 5, O, 7, negative 1. This is citrate, polyatomic ion, plus H positive, okay? It will now become C, 6, H, okay, A, O, 7, okay? Oh, sorry, negative three, like this one, okay? C6H8O7 is the chemical formula for citric acid, but the citrate anion, a polyatomic ion, is negative three, okay? But then ascorbic acid, ascorbate, okay? Polyatomic ion is C6H7, okay? O six okay and then negative one okay plus H it will become C six H eight O six okay so C six H eight O six will be our ascorbic acid oh my gosh really and these are inside our body now this ascorbic acid C six H O six and C six H O seven citric acid citric acid also but i think this will disappear the citric acid because it's already converted to ascorbic acid okay but i think have also <laughs> because there we have all need cherate okay in our body i think so the multivitamins especially if you inject that in our body that have also cherate compounds okay like that and ascorbic compounds multivitamins or supplements Okay, especially vitamin C supplements, okay, naturally have ascorbate compound, okay, or cherry compound, something like that. Just review the packaging of those multivitamins, okay? But before anything else, I forgot to tell you that there is what we call also essential fatty acids, okay? The essential fatty acids is not on the reaction inside our body, it's outside reaction that you have to take in coming from the food supplements or multivitamins, okay? Like that, apart from the fatty acids that I've discussed, that, that is what we call essential fatty acid, okay? Like that. Okay, no more questions so far. I have to end this live streaming, okay? Thank you so much for listening for this, shall I say, lengthy live streaming, okay? If you think you like this live streaming, then you can like, of course, comment, or you can share it to anybody else, to your friends or whatever, like that if you found this is helpful for you, to have some information regarding healthy lifestyle, okay, like that. And then click the notification bell of I am a senior eternal voice for some newest updates, particularly in health. I'm focusing now on health fitness and die something like that because osh occupational safety and health but now i am more on the health uh two days ago last two days ago i am on the safety <laughs> like that okay so i think it should be also good to do uh vlogging regarding environment takes time because environment is very uh you know very enjoyable right the interaction between the plants and animals the ecology, the ecosystem, the air, water, land pollution, so the environmental chemistry of the atmosphere like this, 
okay, very good, right? And then you study also the, you talk to also the minerals inside the land. I'm just talking about mining and metallurgical, something like that, chemistry, okay? <laughs> Regarding the soil. <laughs> the minerals found in the soil like this, a lot, okay? Oh my gosh, okay, it could be better also. Anyway, a lot of topics to be discussed and uh, it will not end, okay? It will never end. You will only die and the uh, information will never die. This is sure, okay? The people will only die, but the information remains forever, okay? Like that. And then the learning will only die if you also die. You're, you're learning, but generally learning will never die even though you will die. Okay, because this will be forever, centuries to centuries, generations to generations, and maybe in the future, we will be discovering another element to be inserted in the periodic table, okay, to that certain scientists maybe came, come from Africa, like this, come from India, Philippines, like that, there's another introduction of new elements found in the universe, in the Earth's crust, <laughs> something like that. Okay, and it will add it, be added into the artificially prepared elements. Okay, right after the, you know, the highly radioactive elements, right? Transition metals, and then highly radioactive elements, artificially prepared elements, and then here we have the transition elements like these, inert gas elements. You know, inert, the other side, the helium, krypton, argon, xenon, those are inert gases or noble gases, right? In the periodic table. And then we have also salts there. On the other side, the sodium, magnesium, calcium, potassium, like that. Strontium, okay? Manganese, something like there on the other side. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this represents their balance. <laughs> wow, my gosh. Why go to the periodic table? Okay, like this. Okay, thank you much. Bye bye, everybody. God bless. See you soon. My gosh, too much chemistry and combination of biology. Oh.